ever since the DJI 04 and 04 Lite have been released, my comment section has been inundated with people saying, please help us. We are the guys with the FPV3 remote control from DJI and we can't bind our controller to this particular model, be it a happy model or be it a fly, whatever, anything with an 04 Lite people seem to be really struggling with. Now, without being able to see their quads in my hand, it's difficult to diagnose exactly what the problem was, but I'd assumed either they hadn't reflashed Betaflight with the S Plus protocol and it only had this the Crossfire protocol on it, or there was something else and I wasn't overly sure. So I decided to reset my brain of everything that I knew and everything that I'd learned. And I looked on the Happy Model website with regards to the Mobula 704. And I followed the instructions on, on there step by step. And I'm hoping that this video will help some of you guys. So without further ado, let's switch into the workshop and follow the instructions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Happy Model website and check exactly what the instructions are on there for us to get this bound up with the DJI FPV3 controller. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom, so it tells us here, if you want to use the DJI FPV remote controller, please re-first first, please, let me put my teeth in. Please first reflash Betaflight firmware and add S bus protocol. So that's what we're going to do, first of all, before we do anything else on this. So let's open up Betaflight. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to presets and we are going to save or back up our presets. We'll add it to the desktop and we will save it. And that means that when we do reflash it, everything should be there for us. And if we go to auto detect, so what is it? Is it not a crazy bee? I'm sure. Oh no, be flat. Airport. Okay, that's fine. Right. So it's actually telling us, look, what we need to do. And we need to ask. I really do need to learn how to speak today. We need to add the protocol of S bus here instead of Crossfire. And that should be everything we need to do. In fact, let me turn that off development and just leave it on release candidate and release, release and release candidates. So once we've flashed SBUS here now, so we need to click load firmware. So it's going to build that firmware for us. Um, we're going to ignore doing a backup and they're going to tell me now that it can't reboot to the bootloader. If we look initially and reboot to bootload it and it can't do it. So what we need to do is we need to download something. I think it's called Immersion RC or Impulse RC Driver Fixer. That's this one here. Now I don't have that on this machine, so you guys are helping me out. And we're just going to install this. In fact, I don't think it actually installs. I think it just runs. There we go. So it's checking for the flight controller. And what it's going to do, essentially, is it's going to put the flight controller into DFU mode or bootloader mode. If we look at the top of beta flight there, it says failed to open with serial port. So we're just waiting for this now. It's installing the DFU drivers and then it's going to switch it over for us in a second. If we actually look now at the bottom of beta flight, we can see exit DFU mode. So it means that we, we can now flash this flight controller. Now, the only slight problem is here now, look, we don't have the option highlighted. So if we just change something, it's normally enough. Or we, we may just have to unplug it and replug it back in. Now, there we go. So if we change back to 4.5.1, and change, remember, change that to S bus, press load firmware online, and then flash firmware, and it's immediately starting to flash. Now, the other way of doing this is by holding the bind button down on the flight controller as you plug it in, and that will automatically put it straight into DFU mode. The only problem with this is that I, it seems like it's in an inaccessible position. I could be wrong. You know, I'm always happy to hold my hands up and say that I'm wrong when I'm wrong. 
I don't think I am on this occasion. I think it's a difficult one to actually get to. So if you just install or just download that, that's probably still working or saying something. But it said at the bottom there, look, success drivers have been fixed. Now, obviously, once we reload this back up, we're going to have nothing set up properly. The, the flight controller is not going to be set up. The ports are not going to be set up. So what we do is we'll close that off. And I'm just going to reboot the flight controller. It shouldn't necessarily need to, but I will. For reasons of making sure that we're as compatible as we possibly can be. I had to stop talking then because I had to put the flight controller down on the desk. And I'm holding a, a microphone. So... We'll come back in, it's going to give us this warning. We're just going to ignore this warning and we're going to go straight down to presets before we do anything else. And we're going to load that backup that we just saved. And that's then going to add our MSP ports for our OSD. It's going to add our motor protocol. It's going to add everything for us. And if we look at the, at the quad now, it's moving in the right direction, which you probably wouldn't have done before because this board, yeah, this board isn't straight. If we go down to our ports, we can see our MSP and everything is added. Come down to our configuration and everything is exactly how it should be. If we go to our pit tuning, we can see that the pit tune should be there. Our filters and our rates. Again, I left this fairly standard, just increase them slightly. So. If we go to our receiver now and we go back onto the Happy Model website and have a look at how they tell us to set it up. So we need to go into the ports tab first of all. And it tells us that UART1 is our MSP, that's fine. And then we need to enable serial on UART6. So disable serial on UART2 because that's where the ELRS is and enable it on six and then press save and reboot. I think that's it. So serial via UR and S possible. I've just done that, but I will show you just so that you're following it through. So go into receiver and it's serial via UR and you'll need to change this from crossfire to S bus and then press save. And that should enable us to bind the FPV3 controller with the Mobula. Should we find out? So I'm just going to move you guys a little higher up there so you can see the whole of the desk. Now let me just check the goggles to make sure that they're on the O4 and they're actually on the O4 Pro. So I'll switch them to the O4. As we can see, this is on and we've got the Mobula here. So what we need now is a Lippo. Easy said than done. Um, oh, got lots of beeping going on there. In fact, I don't think we need a Lippo, do we? If I plug in this the flight controller. It may need a lipo to be fair. I'm not sure how the DJI S bus works. But if we go to receiver first of all and we'll just scroll down. Yeah I suspect it is gonna need. Let me just see what these goggles are saying if anything. So the goggles are just telling me they're connected to the controller. So we're just plugging that there and we should. There we go. And that is how you bind the Mobula. Now you'll find that my control map is completely wrong here. And the reason for that is because I have a separate one. If you was to change this to default instead of my RETA, it should now, yeah, so there we go, look. You can see that everything is working as it should. And that is how you bind, and just for anybody who's a naysayer, because I do know that people have been having real trouble with this, this is the DJI FPV Remote 3. And as you can see in the background. So then you would just go in and you would set up your switches as you would with any other beta flight quad. Um, and it is, it is as simple as that. I think the step that a lot of people are missing and I think the step that a lot of people are forgetting is you must reflash 
uh, beta flight with S bus instead of Crossfire. I think that's where people are getting really confused on this. Once you've done that, all you need to do is just follow those, those steps through um, and it's as simple as that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reflash this back so that I can use ELRS. Quads from the future here. And what I didn't show you is how to bind it. And it's as simple as you would normally bind any drone to this controller. So you basically turn on the drone, you press the bind button, you hold down the controller power button to enter that into bind mode, and then you press the bind button on the goggles and all three will then bind together. Plug it in and then obviously set up your arming switches. If you don't know how to do that, just go and view the review of the Mobula 7 since that's the video we've got here. And in the beta flight section of that, it shows you how to set up your switches. And that is how you enable S-Bus and fly these 04 drones with a DJI FPV controller. The steps are gonna be the same for every drone out there. So you'll need to reflash with S-Bus enabled and then just follow all the steps. The only thing that might be slightly different is which UART you need to select, but drone manufacturers do have most of this information on their website. If you've got any questions, as always, please do leave them down below. And if this or any other video has helped you, then maybe consider joining as one of our members. You'll get your name shouted out in every one of our future length videos. But if I haven't earned that, I'll keep trying.